Well, it's a cold winter's night here in Canberra, and so many of you will be looking longingly at this picture of the South Pacific, famed for its blue seas and islands fringed with swaying coconut trees. But beyond the tourist dreams, these coconut trees are actually the backbone of the village economies in those islands. Since colonial times, coconuts have been planted and the fallen nuts collected and opened, the flesh dried in the sun or over fires to make copper. This is then rammed into sacks and taken off to buyers. The return from all this hard work is so pitiful that some describe it as a kind of slavery. The Asian Development Bank, back in 1983, recognised the positive impact of increasing the price that smallholders receive for their coconuts. The coconut is an amazing tree. It flourishes in difficult coastal conditions, and like the biblical tree of life, it produces a harvest every month of the year. My father, Dr. Dan Edrington, in the audience here, was an economist at the ANU and challenged by the coconut industry's market failure. For years he spoke at conferences on the coconut's potential and the need to do something about it. In 1994, he did something about it. He invented direct micro-expelling, or DME, a village-appropriate technology for making virgin coconut oil. He founded Coconut Pacific as a for-profit company but with a social enterprise mandate to develop DME and manufacturing in Queanbeyan and exporting the technology to improve the outcomes for the incomes of coconut communities. Now the coconut palm is the source of an incredible range of products. We explain this with our Coconut 101 infographic showing how they are made from the fruit and nectar and you can see this interactively on our website. However, most of the traditional products like desiccated coconut and canned coconut cream are made in large factories and so are not appropriate for remote island communities. We've introduced a number of new products um, to the market in Australia. And, but 22 years ago, we pioneered virgin coconut oil because with direct micro-expelling, virgin coconut oil is uniquely suitable to village production. It's very stable and it's quite valuable. So after extensive trials and development funded by personal investment, we launched into a fair income, fair trade joint venture in one of the most challenging countries, the Solomon Islands. Here's a snapshot of what it's done. So this is the oil that changes lives. It has a huge impact for the producers. We've now built a certified organic and fair trade grow group in the Solomons across five island provinces with over 50 DME micro enterprises, 500 farmers, more than 5,000 beneficiaries, generating funds for school, school fees, providing transport, communications, better food, solar power and more. Our New Life Foundation has built the Coconut Technology Center for research and training in best practice and further value adding to coconut byproducts. DME BCO also is beneficial for the consumers and um, we see this as the new life from the tree of life. Every month there's something like 20,000 litres of this good oil going to health food markets in Asia, Europe, North America and in Australia here is sold with, uh, under our retail brand, New Life. 
the appreciation of VCO has grown enormously and world production has risen from nothing when we started to 10, 000, hundreds of thousands of tonnes. So our innovations have been the hand-pressed DME virgin coconut oil, adding value to the existing coconut resource of village communities, partnering to build value chains in many tropical countries, and paying 100% of our coconut Pacific products to our New Life Foundation.